Hello everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. You know me, the only thing that I like more than Pokemon cards is a good deal on Pokemon cards. And this weekend, Best Buy just had one of the best deals so far this year for Pokemon cards. These collection boxes were going for $12 each and I scooped up a ton of these for a great price. That means for four of these collection boxes, I spent $48, which is still less than the retail price of a Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer Box. I'm super excited about cracking these open, so let's get started. I did a video recently where I said a lot of stores are starting to liquidate their inventories of Pokemon cards because a lot of these products simply are not selling the way they used to, especially with the amount of inventory that the Pokemon company is providing them. And these collection boxes tend to be the very first to go. And why did I pick these up? It's because they have a spectacular variety of booster packs. Inside of the Electrode V box, you get yourself two Lost Origin booster packs, a Brilliant Stars booster pack, and an Astral Radiance booster pack, all for $11.99. That is an incredible deal. And the Mimikyu EX box has two Silver Tempest booster packs, a Brilliant Stars, and a Fusion Strike booster pack. So once again, great selection of booster packs, and I'm super excited to crack these open because this is probably some of the best deals that you're gonna see for Pokemon card prices for quite a while. This was not the only thing I scooped up. We also had an amazing deal on Crown Zenith. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Crown Zenith and it definitely shows. It definitely shows with the amount of booster packs that I've opened up with Crown Zenith. I think I've opened up more Crown Zenith booster packs than any other set in the past year or so. A ton of Crown Zenith booster packs. And so I picked up a couple of the figure collection, the Zacian and Zamazenta figure collection also from Best Buy for $36? $36 for 10 Crown Zenith booster packs with a promo card and the Zamazenta and the Zacian figure. That is an incredible deal. Those, I think, go for normally $60 retail, which is great. Great prices on Pokemon cards is exactly what we need right now, especially after the last couple of years where it's been such a challenge to get any products at all. And now we're starting to see some incredible deals. $11.99 for a collection box is about as good as you're ever gonna get. And I know a lot of people, especially from the European region, get really angry at me when I talk about deals like this because they say these deals never come to Europe. And they might in the next couple of months because in general, from what I understand, Europe is usually just a couple of months behind in terms of the stocks and the supplies of inventory. So I can expect that a lot of stuff could potentially hit Europe over the next couple of months. And I know the Pokemon company is working really hard on creating a Pokemon Center available in Europe, perhaps in Paris or the Netherlands somewhere. And so that could be something that's in the future where Pokemon card products are a lot more readily available. Wouldn't that be great? In general, for this year, I think I'm starting to buy a lot more Pokemon card products than even what I did for the past two or three years, you know? It's so hard to buy Pokemon card products during the pandemic because it was impossible to get anything. I mean, paying $5 for a booster pack was normal. That was the expected price that you'd pay per booster pack. So for 20 bucks, you get yourself five booster packs. That was pretty much the best deal that you can get. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean four booster packs for 20 bucks. That was the best deal you can get. And now you're starting to see some really cool products that are going for more affordable prices. And so there's actually a lot of opportunity right now for you to make some great deals. You can find some really great products at super, super dirt cheap prices. Uh, over the past couple of months, I picked up a couple of V-Star Universe booster boxes for $60. That was the cheapest ones that I could find. They have absolutely gone up in value, especially with the rise in the Japanese market over the past couple of months. And I think V-Star Universe right now is hitting close to $100. And that may be where it stays unless there's a restock of V-Star Universe. And I've also picked up a couple of Brilliant Stars um, booster boxes for as low as like 80 to 90 bucks. Great, great deals on products right now. So if you're looking for stuff, you will be able to find deals. And people will ask me, where do I pick up these products at? And I will tell you, I don't have some kind of insider scoop, you know? 
I don't have any insider dealings with any card shop or anything of that nature. You can look at my description. I'm not really affiliated with anything. Um, but in general, if you're looking for great deals, I use marketplaces like everyone else. I go on to eBay. I go on to Amazon. I look at Walmart and Best Buy like this or GameStop. I would look at pretty much every single website that's available to me, every single marketplace, whether it be a Macari or Buy E or any place else and you look for deals and they will come up from time to time you just never know so a lot of times when i find a great deal by the time that i can really notify you about it it's already over or they just don't have products uh, available anymore and that's makes sense right because if it's a great deal it can only be a great deal if there's only limited supply you know they can't just sell uh, products at $12 for a collection box till the end of time you know wow we haven't done that good in our first eight booster packs or so but that's okay these packs were so incredibly cheap that it's not even a big deal if we don't get anything really good you do get yourself the guaranteed um, promo card inside and with brilliant stars and astral radiance in lost origins i just really like all of these sets these are pretty much the top tier set from the sword and shield era and these are some of the last sets with yellow border pokemon cards so i'm looking to get any of the hits from these sets i have not pulled the chase cards from any of these sets actually i have not pulled the um, charizard v from brilliant stars i have not pulled either of the um, chase cards from astral radiance i have not pulled the um, lugia from silver tempest and i still have not pulled the giratina v from lost origin uh, i open up around a hundred booster packs of each of these sets that's usually my go-to is i'll crack open right around three booster boxes worth of pokemon cards from each of these sets and if i don't get anything crazy i usually just pick up the cards on the secondary market usually after a year or two and i feel like the market has really started to settle down right because these sets are old in terms of coming out last year but they're not that old right they can still be reprinted any given day and there's a lot of cool stuff inside here the one thing i'm looking for is some trainer gallery cards those are great and i would love to pick us up some i'm actually surprised we haven't seen any yet these collection boxes some people mentioned can be extremely hit or miss and it looks like we're just missing right now that definitely can happen you can also get some really crazy stuff some people have definitely posted online and on social media of pulling multiple secret rares inside of a single collection box. You know, you see those people out there who pulled themselves the uh, Lugia alt art and the Giratina alt art in the exact same collection box. Yeah, definitely. I'm not jealous at all. So we are going to get our day in the sunlight soon enough. Um, the only one that I would be super stoked to pull the chase card of is probably fusion strike one because it's incredibly rare and i think of all the chase cards the gengar has to be my favorite i just really really want the gengar from uh, this set it's an extremely challenging pull i think we've data mined the pull rates on this set and it's hard we're talking about pretty much the hardest set to get the chase card in uh, we're talking what is that 600 to 800 booster packs to get yourself the gengar v max alt art so it's a challenging one for sure Woo, that was a lot of booster packs we've opened 12 booster packs so far that's already more booster packs than you'll find inside of a modern elite trainer box and i still have not spent as much money as an elite trainer box so we still got a lot of packs to open and all from great sets Silver Tempest, great. Brilliant Stars, great. Fusion Strike is great. None of these sets I really have a major issue with. Some of the pull rates, especially for Fusion Strike, is definitely going to be the roughest. But wow, wow. I'm really shocked by how poor our pull rates have been. I thought uh, I've been doing pretty good on luck. Um, if you've seen my Pokemon 151 booster box opening, I pulled the top chase card from that. And just that's how it goes sometimes. I think pulling that Erica alt art just drained all of my luck for the rest of this month and so we're gonna have to open up a ton more booster packs if we want to get something good if that's what it's looking like not even a single trainer gallery card which is pretty shocking we got two more booster packs to go and if i don't pull something good i'm gonna have to like crack open some crown zenith right now or something to remind myself what a good hit even looks like right 
All right, two more booster packs. You never know what could happen with these. We do three to the front, let's toss the energy. I kind of miss doing the three to the front because I've been just opening up a ton of Scarlet and Violet lately. And of course you don't have to do any card trick with that. It does take a little bit of additional time. Wow, that is a great looking Crobat. I'm actually gonna keep that one over here because that's a great looking card. Wow, it's all on Fusion Strike. That is unfortunate. If it was on any other set, I would be a little bit more confident, but with Fusion Strike, when the, the pull rates are so rough, you just never know. I, I don't think Fusion Strike can save us today, but we'll see. We'll do, uh, there we go. Let's look at what we got here. You never know. You never know when it comes to these pack openings. We got ourselves Aracuda. I see a little bit of shiny on the back. I don't think we have ourselves a major chase card. It can be, it can be, but I'm thinking it's a VMAX. That's my guess. You guys can see the shiny, all right? Three, two, one. Ooh, Cinderace VMAX. That's why I didn't get my hopes up. I saw a little bit of a glimmer or something, but it just didn't look like the right glimmer, but that's a pretty cool card and I'm happy with that. The thing about a great deal is even when the hits don't go your way, it just doesn't seem that badly because we were able to open up so many booster packs for such an affordable price. Like I said, I spent less than an elite trainer box in terms of cost in picking up all of these booster packs and I enjoyed that. We will get better pulls I'm sure in the future and I can't wait for that day to come. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely be on the lookout for some great deals out there because they do exist and you want to make sure that you're on the lookout so that when they are available you get yourself the most amount of booster packs and the most amount of value for your dollars. Thank you so much and I will see you guys next time.